All right, guys, welcome back here to another Iron Man episode. And today, we're trying to get my brother the Tarantula Pet. That's right. This is the big goal for today. It's going to be like the only goal for today because we have to do it. It's the only time is right now we're we'll using all of our Arachne Keeper fragments to spawn these uh, the Tarantula bosses. We're trying to kill them and we're cross our fingers. Then we get ourselves a pet because that's the pet I'm missing. Now, Zach and my brother already have it. It just happened by a coincidence and we actually got one. I think it was like episode like 30 or something on the series but i ended up getting one here which is very cool and my brother's next and we actually have a whole bunch of arachne keeper fragments from grinding candy during the spooky festival and uh, as you guys remember from last episode my brother was able to get a black cat pet which means that he's actually gonna get extra pet luck here when we spawn this arachne keeper that's right as you can see my black cat pet is currently level 19 so i'm not sure how much this will do for me but uh, at least we got this cat with us now another thing we'll be doing here is actually hopping to zach's uh IRL profile island We'll be right clicking all his cakes just to get that extra magic find slash luck slash pet drop. And we'll do that right now. So let's head over to the island, eat those cakes and head back over here to spawn the boss. All right. So here we are. Look at all these delicious cakes. Thank you so much for baking, Zach. I uh, really appreciate it. Let's eat those here. Mmm, yum, yum. All right. Well, there we go, guys. We got ourselves the extra bonus here on the server. I always forget doing this, by the way. I always forget doing this for all the things we've been doing. As you can see, strength, ferocity, speed, defense, like this stuff's so good. Pet luck and magic find, that's what we're looking for right there. All right, so let's spawn our very first boss. All right, so let's get started. I'll place my four right away here. Um, I know I'm wasting kind of like a few of them here, but a lot of people aren't really placing these once you've placed them. So we'll just go ahead and do four right away. All right, there you go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grind through this first boss and let's see what we get. Um, we'll see what boss we'll get it on. Hopefully we get it right away, so we don't have to waste any time. But uh, let's see what happens. We're also much stronger right now. Um, I don't think we've ever been this strong and actually tried attempting this boss. Last time we kind of struggled. So we'll see how much we struggled this time. Definitely exciting to see with our Shadow Assassin, Aspect of the Dragons, you know. See there it is. Fast we can shred through this thing. Alright, so we just died here. Heading back down. Um, hopefully it won't be too hard getting through that wall. But I know it is quite difficult getting through that spider or cobweb wall, so we'll see. Oh, it's not actually that bad. We'll walk through it right away. There we go. Let's see what we get here. Got some soul string. My string over here. I'm looking around. String. All right, let's keep going. Let's do the next one, I guess. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and place mine here. Now, the first one we just did, there was actually loot at the top, as you saw there from my clip. So my brother was not able to go up there fast enough, but I was able to get up there fast enough. I got my loot. It was just some string, so hopefully he didn't have a pet up there. But uh, we'll never find out. So let's go ahead, place my four here, and just spawn this boss and see what we get. Oh, it died. Check, let's check the top if you're up there. We got nine soul string. Uh, one enchanted string and a racking fragment. All right. So uh, I think that's all I have. My brother will come down and get his loot. All right. So with this one, we actually struggled like way more than I thought. So I think we're going to try using my line pet actually just for that damage. And then maybe switch to the cat pet near the end. And also, um, I might wear my, my werewolf armor because that's good for like ferocity or something. So I use that with my line pet, see how I do. Maybe I'll switch back to the shadow assassin, but uh, we'll give the next one here a shot and see how we do. All right, third one's placed. Let's see how we do on this one.
All right. All right, it's down. That was a lot faster this time. Yeah, we'll get some string again. This whole string for fragments. No pet. And there's probably something up top again, I'm pretty sure. There should be more loot, so I'll check upstairs quick. And it looks like there's nothing up here. No. Nope. All right, so someone else placed in our lobby here. We can still get a pet from this, which is great. Of course, we're gonna take those handouts, of course. Look at this. Free boss. All right, we just killed it. Got some string. All right, let me check upstairs here. That fragment. Oh, treasure pet. No. Let's go. You got it? What? Let's freaking go. We got a level one, of course. No. Treasure pet. Epic. What? You got it, like, right away. Like, the third, the third one we did today. Yeah, that's the third one. We already got a pet. Let's go. Let's go. And there you have it. As you can see, we got ourselves the tarantula pet. And actually, uh, I was kind of surprised of how fast we actually got this thing. I did not expect to do this in, like, three bosses. Actually, unbelievable. I totally thought we had to grind out at least, like, ten bosses minimum before we could even see, like, a chance of getting one of these pets. But we got one, which is right here. And look at that. It's already level 7 by accident, but I want to see how much this thing will cost to upgrade to a Legendary, because we only got the Epic. I'm not even sure if the Legendary can drop from the boss. Guys, comment down below if, if it can. I'm not really sure. But, slash. Alright, and let's take a look. Oh my gosh, it's going to be 4.8 mil and 512 torrential webs. That's a lot of webs, actually. But the money is crazy, like 4.8 mil. That's nuts. This thing will definitely be... Uh, It'll definitely be saved for in the future when we upgrade our pets because uh, it's not that important. We don't really need the trench pet at the moment. All right, so now I'm actually at George and I was just thinking, what if we grind this boss to actually drop the pet and sell the pet because it might be worth some good money um, because we do have a few fragments left over and when we do spooky, we'll be easily collecting these frags. It's gonna be so easy to get. It's just like passive basically. But I'll open up George here and let's see how much we can actually sell this pet for. All right, so, oh my god, okay, never mind, guys. <laughs> 2,000 bucks? What the heck? What a ripoff, bro. This guy is horrible. All right, we're definitely not going to do that. So, uh, it's definitely not a good money-making method. It's a uh, very bad passive income. Now, I also want to mention, there are actually quite a few pets we can still craft ourselves to increase our collection with these pets. Now, at least we got the tarantula, but there are two that we can still craft on the island, which is the pig pet, because we have all that excess pig meat from when we had the shiny pigs on the server, that whole Dante situation. Um, so we can still craft that, and we also can still craft the wither pet. So those are two things we can still get out of the way with our enchanted eggs we have on the island, but we'll definitely do that here coming up in the next few episodes. Now, of course, another one that we could grind for, which is one thing I've been hoping to drop for so long already. Of course, I didn't do a crazy grind towards it, but I do already have a bunch of rare Enderman pets because I'm trying to get myself the legendary, and what a grind that's going to be and one day, guys, you're going to see the video here on the channel where we managed to get ourselves a legendary Enderman pet. But of course, that's in the future. But there's another one on the list. Definitely very high here on the list. Probably number one for me to try and get. Um, and then there's a few other ones we can drop, like the Golem pet, the Iron Golem pet from the end as well. So we'll see if we can get that here in the future. But overall, pretty happy we got this one towards our collection. So with that said, I want to mention, go ahead, guys, join the code subscribe. We're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. We're actually so close. It's crazy. So thank you guys all so much for the support so far. But if you haven't already, go ahead, join the code, subscribe. Also, we have a Discord. It's linked down below. Go ahead, check it out. Everything is linked there. And uh, we see you guys in the next episode.